and you have people who are leaders for example in in the sporting arena the sporting arena is where leadership is everything you know like if you have poor leadership in a team sport uh you're not going to do well that doesn't require a college degree you know correct i'm thinking about people like uh stephen curry lebron mm-hmm. james i don't mm-hmm. know that stephen curry got, got got a college degree and when he was playing for davidson but we know lebron james did not go to I college i think i think steph did hmm? i think steph did but the conversation tonight is about uh college degrees cuz everyone here has a college degree uh at least on the panel uh and uh, most of our listeners also have a college degree so i i first want to get your thoughts omosh you know like as we're just getting started do you think a college degree is necessary for effective leadership uh not for effective leadership uh, leadership to me is something that you don't teach either you have it or you don't you can be taught policies you know you can be taught how to affect you know things but leading is something innate either you have it or you don't it's okay. not something that you're taught you're not taught how to become a leader so you're saying that uh as a leader you know or rather to become an effective leader yes. a college degree is just no I, i and uh you see you you have to go back to our traditional um what is it called employment setups basically a college degree is used as an elimination factor mm-hmm. when you know you have a, a a large pool of candidates who are applying for a job a position or whatever you want to call it mm-hmm. uh you start you know vetting them and minimum requirement normally is having a college degree so mm-hmm. if you do have a college degree uh then you're in then now they start asking other questions okay do you have the relevant experience and then in that relevant experience what is it specifically that you have and then how deep is this experience meaning how many years do you have in that particular field and if it's a senior position then you know somebody is expecting to have 10 plus years if it's a mid position probably 5 5 years and if it's a you know a uh, a junior position there may be two or starting coming out of college you know those sorts of things um so to me leadership and effective leadership no you don't need a college degree for that however there are leadership skills that you require as a leader in order to be effective with this type of leadership you know there are certain things that you need to be able to do you need to be able to discern you know the type of people you're dealing with you need to be able to see um you you need to be able to to you know to have uh, uh, a way of understanding um folks who are around you like what type of personalities you're dealing with you know um and i don't know if you know people out there especially the corporate world if you've done something like uh, myers briggs where you get to learn about you know uh, introverts extroverts you know uh those who are in between an introvert and an extrovert you know once you learn how to deal with certain people who you know once you can figure out that this person is an introvert or an extrovert then you know how to effectively lead them and get the most out of them because of the type of uh character the uh, traits that they have okay all right so that's almost fire talking about leadership uh and uh you know like whether college degree is required uh, and as we're talking we're working on the sound i uh, you know like we do apologize i know uh, i see a couple of people saying you know the sound is low on um on facebook you, you know just uh, please keep commenting and let it, letting us know if the sound is okay now uh we are working on uh, on 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 fixing that and we're talking about leadership uh we're talking about college degrees and whether they are necessary you know like when when it comes to uh matters of leadership now i you know like for me it's 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 a mixed bag mm-hmm. you know like i tend to agree with you on um i really don't think you know like a college degree uh is is necessary for effective leadership uh and i you know like i'm also in the school of thought that uh i think a lot of people who have acquired college degrees uh because you know like of the hard work they put in i think a lot of people tend to to lie to that side where you know like they want to say that um we do require a college degree we do mm-hmm. le- we do require a college degree for effective leadership but but honestly speaking i think leadership is one of those um is one of those internal skills it's one of those innate skills that some people have even from a very young age and other other people don't and you can see this you know from a very young age 
uh, and you have people who are leaders, for example, in, in the sporting arena. The sporting arena is where leadership is everything. You know, like if you have poor leadership in a team sport, uh, you're not going to do well. That doesn't require a college degree, you know. Correct. I'm thinking about people like uh, Stephen Curry, LeBron mm -hmm. James. I don't mm -hmm. know that Stephen Curry got, got, got a college degree and when he was playing for Davidson, but we know LeBron James did not go to I college. Think, I think Steph did. Hmm? I think Steph did. Yeah. So, but but we know there's a lot of effective leaders in sports, especially who don't have a college degree. There's so many people who are very good leaders that don't have a college degree. Now, what I want to know from the listeners is if there's anyone uh, who thinks, um, if there's anyone who thinks that uh, a college degree is necessary for effective leadership, so that we can get, you know, like uh, the other school of thought. Uh, and I was talking I to. Okay, all right. And and I and I and I'm not sure that Mika Natuskia. Uh Mika. Mika, can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh so Mika, go ahead, you know, talk to us, uh Salimia or Tazamaji no Askilizaji, and uh tell us what you what you think about this topic. Are college degrees necessary for effective leadership? Mika. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh welcome to this with your take. And uh on the to volume you know, go to a love of statistics. Anyway, uh on the topic I agree with the most. Like uh leadership is something that somebody learns or it's inborn in you, especially when it comes to political leadership, because the most important thing that you as a political leader is actually just taking care of the needs of your constituents or of the people you represent. Now, if we look at how this whole college degree debacle has been put up in political scene in Kenya, it was meant as a way of, uh, how can I say, an elimination process of the people who can qualify to run for office. But then, as Ali said, there are people who acquire degrees. The people who get honorary degrees, it's a degree. You still get a degree and you'll go to, you'll be, you, you qualify to run for office. And then uh, so many people have watched, actually said in life that book smart is not street smart. Like you can be book smart and everything, but you don't know how to survive in the streets, how to live in this world. There are some people who are actually educated, but they're not smart. Uh, you know an, a guided system of following uh, set rules and procedures after the exams, but when it comes to the implementation of what you've learned in school, you cannot do it in life so i believe that for effective leadership it's just something that that's are supposed to be in leadership skills i believe that if you're supposed to have a lead based on the, on the position you're running for let's say a senator let's not a governor you what really should work is what your manifest what's your manifesto what's your plan on what you're planning to improve the people who are voting you in how are you going to implement it you can be a leader who knows how to bring people who can be able to help you achieve your goals. Like it's sort of like a project manager does a project. He brings an engineer, an analyst, um, implementation people together, like di different aspects of finance people. And then a project is born out of it. He just guides them together. That's what a leader is supposed to be able to do. Uh, your university degree is not necessarily a necessity when it comes to leadership, because then if we look at, uh, these guys who are vying with these educational uh, university degrees and what they talk or how they act. Hmm. <laughs> they pass through school. Ali, back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mika. You know, like uh, I'm seeing the sound is getting better. We are still working on it. Now, Kenyan Jui, you know, has an interesting comment here. He says, let's be serious. In a country like Kenya, where access to college degrees is not universally accessible to all, how can that criteria for run? How can that be a criteria for running for public office? The very basis of democracy is choice. People have the choice to vote for, uh, ne for Neanderthals if they choose to. The then the get to live uh, with that choice um and to a certain extent you know like i i tend to agree with uh with kenyan Jui. we have constituencies in kenya that have you know like uh, five college graduates believe it or not you know because sometimes in kenya we live in this small um 
we live in these small cubicles. You know, we live in these small uh, isolated spaces where we don't realize, you know, like what other people are going through. So, so for people who are for this idea, you know, like it's important to have a college degree uh, for, to become an effective leader. Are you saying that in these spaces where you have a whole constituency that has one or two college graduates, those are the only people who become eligible to run, you know, for those offices that require a college degree? So I think that's something that uh, that we need to think about. And and Omosha, I want to come back to you uh, and uh, just try to figure out if a more college-educated executive in Kenya and, and parliament, because we have, you know, like... Uh, despite the fact that that requirement wasn't there, but we mm -hmm. have a lot of people who I want to say this might be the most, let me not call educated, but it, it has the highest percentage, you know, of previous parliaments of people who have college degrees. Now, do you think this has resulted in more effective leadership, better leadership compared to where we were, you know, like years back when we had, you know, like a lower percentage of leaders with college degrees? Do you think things have become better or worse? And can we tie that to having a college degree um you know i'm not sure if it's necessarily having a if the the academic qualifications uh meaning this is the i guess the most the highest percentage of legislators who have academic uh, uh qualifications uh whether that actually ties into the effective should i say the it's the quality of leadership we're talking about not the effectiveness or i guess they they, they both tie in to me when i look at it the today's uh politic today's politicians uh if i'm comparing with let's say let's go back maybe the 80s politicians mm -hmm. and these to say our 20 to say 2015 nakwenda ju yes the 80s politician uh seemingly looked like they were doing something mm -hmm. for their constituents yes whether they were still uh getting uh rich uh, by you know like personally or whether they were getting they were enriching themselves or they were enriching their families or whatever but somehow they collectively looked like they looked after their individual families as well as their uh, larger family being their constituents today's politician is basically looking out for themselves and their individual family but not for their uh, for, their for their larger constituents, which yeah. is the, the outer family that, you know, in terms of um, doing the comparisons. And then the level of, uh, I was going to say corruption. I didn't want to use corruption, but the level of corruption is so high and the amount that is actually being uh, put into one's pocket is extremely high, meaning like for every, uh, out of every shilling, it's almost like the politician is putting in 95 cents into their pocket and then they're giving us five cents for us to basically uh, be able to, you know, be able to use that. You, it does, it, it, to me, today's politician who is more educated, uh, they, they seemingly look like they are more savvy in stealing as opposed to helping with uh, um, policies, with looking out for their people, with programs, with uh, infrastructure, all the things that, you know, we need today.